Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Bake Off moments that left us speechless. He's reclining. Um... He's having a nap. For this list, we'll be spotlighting all the drama, disasters, and awesome creations that keep us tuning in year after year. Which Bake Off moment left you speechless? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Bake Off Goes Country When the beloved baking show returned for Series 12, we were expecting the usual cocktail of friendly competition, pastries and panic. What we hadn't banked on was Paul Hollywood rocking a mullet and singing about his flaky pastry tart. You can have your fun, make brownies by the ton, you can fill your donuts up with jam. The intro segment also featured Prue on keyboards, Noel on guitar and Matt Lucas on drums. Not that they were actually playing, but there was plenty of enthusiasm. Billy Ray Cyrus's country hit Achy Breaky Heart was transformed into a love letter to shoe buns and brownies and the band were clearly having a whale of a time. There was even a bit of line dancing. Once we got over the initial shock, it was fun for the viewers too. Number 9. John uses salt instead of sugar. Sometimes you can pinpoint a Bake Off champion right from the beginning, but this wasn't the case back in Series 3. Oh, I've messed up big style, yeah. His last showstopper might have been a winner, but John Waite's journey to the final got off to a rocky start. He made a rookie error in his very first technical challenge and laced his rum barbas with salt instead of sugar. I'm just trying to slice off the salted heart of the baba. I'm fighting for my place in the competition now. John didn't realise his bitter mistake until too late, and the offending cakes were already on the judging table. Paul and Mary were far from impressed, but somehow, John still scraped through to the next round. Oh, jeez. What is it, Paul? There's too much salt in there. Number eight, Sura swats Dave's cakes. Bakers, your time is up. Bake Off has had its share of accidental sabotage when a clumsy fellow contestant or one of the presenters botches up your bake, it must be hard to keep your cool. Apologies are all very well, but they are not going to turn back time. Go away, uh. <gasps> No! Which is what Sura must have wished she could do after her attempt to swat a fly, knock Dave's tray and put his pineapple upside down cakes upside down on the floor. Dave's face was like thunder, but he managed to hold it together. Don't worry about I'm it, it's so fine. I'm, just, I'm sure they can go by what they looked like before I brought them over. To add insult to injury, Sura's bake came out on top. Number seven, the famous faces cakes. That's about as far away from David Bowie as you could get. I'd agree with you, actually. In the first showstopper of Series 11, the amateur bakers proved to the nation that you should never meet your idols if you once immortalise them in cake form on national television. The cake busts were meant to depict the contestants' celebrity heroes, but the results were something else. In fairness, you could kind of tell who most of them were meant to be, but they weren't exactly flattering. Let's hope that Lupita Nyong'o doesn't watch Bake Off. It might have been disastrous, but the challenge did get the series off to a great start. Who knew that cakes could be so funny? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're not supposed to laugh. Number six. Ruby's cake collapses. Yes, yeah, so I have dowels in there because obviously it's quite a tall cake. So I want to make sure it looks all nice and sturdy. I don't want any um, wonky cakes. Is there a more striking image than the sight of Ruby's vegan showstopper toppling from its perch? The flamboyant pink creation didn't look too stable as the contestants left the tent and it wasn't. I don't think that's gonna... Uh oh. The camera caught the instant when it went crashing to the table while the bakers looked on in horror. Oh, coming, it's coming, it's wet. Oh, it's gonna fall. Oh, God. But Ruby missed the moment. Probably a good thing, really, as it was too late to fix anything. She presented the lemon, chocolate and coconut cake in pieces to the less than sympathetic judges. But at least 
it tasted good. Number five, Jürgen doesn't make the final. You could become the flavour king. Very, very Thank good. Thank you very much. The Bake Off contestants are always a nice bunch, but there are a few that find a special place in the viewers' collective hearts. Jürgen was one of those people. The German software engineer had a gentle on-screen presence and was a contender for Star Baker almost every episode. When he was knocked out of the competition the week before the final, the public mourned. Jürgen. No. Ofcom received 115 complaints and the baker himself had to make calls to families whose children wouldn't stop crying. But as Jürgen told The Guardian, I've got over not being in the final. It's just one episode I missed. Just one. And I know a lot of exciting things are coming my way. Really enjoyed being here as I, I made friends for life. Number four, Nadia's winner's speech. Nadia. Nadia Hussein is probably Bake Off's biggest breakout star, and her memorable winner's speech may just be one of the reasons. The British don't usually go in for much sentimentality, but when Nadia was crowned champion, she had us all in tears, including Mary Berry. I am never ever going to put boundaries on myself ever again. I'm never going to say, I can't do it. I'm never going to say maybe. A fan favourite from the beginning, the mum of three was unsure of herself at the start. But as the weeks went on, her confidence grew. Her tearful acceptance speech was straightforward and touching. She resolved never to put boundaries on herself again. I'm never going to say, I don't think I can, she promised. I can and I will. When she came into the final today, she was nervous, but she had the sort of look that I'm going to do it. And she did. Sheer perfection. And I enjoyed every minute. Number three, the lion made of bread. Of all the memorable bakes on this show, there's been nothing so far to touch the brilliance of the bread lion. You say you're gonna do a lion, it's gonna look like a lion. You might think Bake Off is all about the cakes, but you can't discount the savory stuff, and the infamous bread week is often make or break. For prisoner governor Paul, it was the moment that the other Paul pronounced his bake one of the best things I've seen in bread ever. And who can doubt it? Meticulously designed and sculpted and risen to perfection, Paul's King of the Jungle has gone down in Bake Off history. That is exceptional. Number two, custard theft. I've got to make that into proper custard and uh, I've got two types of caramel to make. So. Back in 2013, contestant Deborah Manger caused a national uproar when she pinched a fellow baker's custard from the fridge. Well, it was an accident, but we were outraged all the same. According to Mary, Howard was making a true creme anglaise, while Deborah had gone for an easier option. Both bakers left their attempts to set in the same fridge, but the superior custard mysteriously ended up in Deborah's trifle. Where's my custard? Oh no! I'm so sorry, Howard. After confessing her mistake, Deborah's day went from bad to worse, and she was ultimately sent home. Howard wasn't too bothered and decided there was no point having a strop, but the public didn't take his advice and took to Twitter in their droves to condemn the custard theft. I'm sure that one custard's as good as another. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number one, Bin Gate. It's a mess, disaster, it's revolting. After Custard Gate, we thought there could be no bigger Bake Off scandal but a year later, there was Bingate. The incident involved Ian Waters, who had left his baked Alaska to set in the wrong freezer. In an act that would come back to haunt her, fellow contestant Diana Beard removed the offending dessert and left it to melt into a sloppy mess on the workbench. Where's my ice cream? It's here. Sorry, Ian. We, we ah! could... Ian lost it and flung the remains of his bake into the bin. No, 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 no. The judges weren't happy when he was forced to bring the receptacle up for judging, as they still could have judged the flavours. The moment of madness was to cost Ian his place in the competition, while the unrepentant Diana was branded public enemy number one. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.